Hello friends, this is lesson number 39 in the series of literary theories and criticism. And today in this lesson we shall discuss Richard Palmer Blackmore. Richard Palmer Blackmore, he is also an American scholar. So in the last few videos we are just simply discussing the American scholars and they are the practitioner of new criticism. And today in this lesson, we shall discuss the theory given by him about the immature critics, immature critics and professional critics. You must be wondering that uh, these lessons are quite short. Uh, what I have experienced is that uh, there are questions about simply the concept and who has given the concept. So what I have understood or whatever I have gone through that is about the we should try to remember the writer or the author or the critique and the concept given by him and the basic idea about the concept like we discussed Wim Sat and Beardsley and the concept of intentional fallacy and affective fallacy. We also discussed John Crow Ransom and his concept of poetry three types of poetry the uh, the title was poetry a note on ontology so ontological criticism so three types of poetry given by him and then we had alan tate in the previous video there we discussed that the two types of meanings or the tension in poetry the concept given by him so similar sort of a thing we have about richard palmer blackmore so it's going to be a short little lesson and we shall discuss the immature critic and professional critic but first his timeline he was born in the year 1905 and died in 1965 and uh, he wrote a work language as gesture language as gesture and it was published in the year 1952 it is a collection of essays and it contains a critic's job of work there is a there is an essay in this work it is a collection of essays language as gesture and in among these essays we have one prominent essay and the name is a critic's job of work and in that essay he talks about immature and professional critics to begin with the essay, he talks about the theories of new criticism as the all practitioner of new criticism. New criticism. They say that the text is autonomous as a whole and one must not go beyond the text. One should judge the text objectively and analyze the language and uh, do not try to go uh, in the background of the writer or the age what were the social or political conditions one should avoid that so just remain strict to the text the same sort of things he talked about and uh, then he talks about the two types of critics and uh, what is the job of a critic first the critics job is to analyze a work and to tell the other people that uh, this work is fine or not fine or which are the drawbacks which are the good things even these days you find the people who are doing their work on these social media channels or even on youtube that they are giving their opinions about movies about politics sometimes we see that these uh, critics they can be independent and sometimes they can be professional professional in a sense they must be attached to any organization or any group so their opinion can be biased so the same sort of things are mentioned or told by Richard Palmer Blackmore that he says immature critics are still acceptable who are these people they pass the criticism not for money but for their own interest and uh, their criticism may not be constructive but at least it is not under the influence of any authority so it is independent so like on any channel if you find on any portal or a social media channel that uh, the, the people are there and they are giving their views especially on politics so if they are independent they are immature immature in the sense that they are the beginners 
they are simply coming into this field of uh, criticism or analysis and they are passing their uh, judgments so they are still acceptable provided that their uh, criticism is not under the influence of any agency or authority so their opinions are not biased and then he talks about the second category and that is professional critics and he says that these are the experts and they work for any particular institution and they do this work for money so they may be propagating the things sometimes they may be you can say uh, giving biased opinion especially to uh, to achieve a particular target so that sort of a criticism is bad and it hurt the society according to Richard Palmer Blackmore he says that uh, such a sort of critic critics who are doing the professional criticism sometimes even they are under the influence of the authority and they are under the pressure of the lots of money as well for means uh, they have a desire for the money and they pass uh, that sort of uh, opinions which even they do not accept but they propagate the things so that sort of uh, professional critics they are really harmful for the society so their criticism always have a purpose hidden purpose hidden agendas are there so they stick to their uh, doctrine their school of thought and they pass judgment according to that so there are two types of critics according to Richard Palmer Blackmore immature critics they are not under the influence of anyone they are independent their may their opinion may not be that of expertise or of a great quality but at least their opinion is not under the influence of any machinery or agency but the professional critics are working especially for money so they may be harmful so what conclusion Richard Palmer Blackmore is making that immature critics are still better they are natural and true to their nature so that's it about Richard Palmer Blackmore and there is a question it is a long question so I shall try to recite and uh, what is that it is about criticism what is there in the question like walking criticism is a pretty nearly universal art both require a constant intricate shifting and catching of balance neither can be questioned much in process and few perform either really well for either a new terrain is fatiguing and uh, awkward and in our day most men prefer paved walks and some form of rapid transport some easy theory or overmastering dogma so this is a long question and it is given that uh, this is a quote from R.P. Blackmore's A Critic's Job of Work that is essay and there were four options and uh, uh, from these four options we had to choose two correct ones so which are the two correct ones the first walking is compared with criticism as both are arts of similar kind utmost care is required and the other option which was correct that uh, critics prefer tried and tested approaches as walker prefers the paved walks and rapid transport means the critics prefer the method or the way which is already tested say so do not uh, take the risk of uh, opting a new way so they are just following the traditional ways that is mostly happening so these two are the correct options and then we can also consider the two other options which were incorrect sometimes it is also beneficial to consider the incorrect ones so which are the two incorrect ones the first Blackmore admits that some people do however manage to be good critics and good walker so there is not much association with the being a critic and a good walker so it must be wrong and the second is Blackmore does not quite give us the equivalence of some paved walks and 
some form of rapid transport in order to press his comparison so it means uh, they are taking that the statement is not sufficient so these two options are wrong so that's it about richard palmer blackmore so there was only uh, once a question so that is we have already discussed and uh, one more writer we are supposed to go through and that is amson william amson and uh, his theory of uh, seven types of ambiguity we shall discuss him in the next lesson thanks a lot for watching this lesson have a great day